All right, what's up, you guys? I'm here with Secrets from California. If you guys want to just take the mic and uh, introduce yourselves and tell you what you do in the band. <laughs> I'm Michael Sherman. I play guitar. <laughs> the f oh, come on, you such an idiot, dude. You just play guitar. I'm Xander, and I scream. I interview. <laughs> My name's Joe. Play the drums. Uh, I'm Richard, and I play I play guitar and sing. I'm Mark. I play the bass. Nice. With, nice. with a lisp. With nice. a lisp. Why am I the only one that says last name? Oh, nobody cares. No one cares about you guys. No one cares. That's, that's why I'm here. <laughs> All right, guys. So you just have a you just have an album coming out, and you had an album come out. It just came out in January 17th, right? All right, same day as Attack Attack. Um, how has the response on this tour so far been? It's been unreal. Every day's been sold out, and uh, kids have been loving us. It's amazing. Awesome. Yeah, is that? Can you confirm that? Yeah, I can confirm. He was there. He was there. So what was it like working with uh, producer uh, Tom Denny, Richard? How, how was that experience for you guys? Um, it was good. Tom's one of our good friends now, and we came... We became good friends with him really quickly. So, uh, hey, hey, come on. <laughs> so yeah, it's just a lot of fun. We goof around a lot, but I mean, we have, we obviously get work done too. Yeah. Yeah. He's great dude. Yeah, you have an album out, so that's all that matters. Yeah. It's like just watching your YouTube stuff from from your demos and from from the recording process. You guys had a lot of fun, I guess. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, mixed with a little recording. So. <laughs> Oh, I bet. From sleeping in a tent the entire time. Oh, oh was oh. wait 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 was that real? Like it was real, and there was hurricanes and <laughs> nightmares. Why why wait, wait why was Tom not letting you sleep in his house or what it was? He has a family. Wait, oh, a family. Yeah. Um um oh, just five guys in the in his one house. Exactly. No big deal. <laughs> all right. <laughs> So how did the name Secrets really come about? What was that all about? How, and that kind of goes with how did the band form and with all that? I think Richard can say it. He, he likes saying it on the wall. <laughs> I made it, dude. <laughs> now, um, they came up with the name, and we all, like, they brought it up to me, and we were like, we thought it would be really good for marketing because it's just one word. It's easy to go up to people, and they're like, hey, hey what's your band name? We're like, Secrets. It sticks really well instead of, like, the madness and the blah 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 and like all these crazy like a haiku for a name or something like that. So marketing and it's just um, it sounds good. We all have secrets. And we all have secrets. Yeah, everybody has secrets. Yeah. Everybody has secrets. Share some secrets, but then that would that would not even be the point of a secret. Yeah. And we'd have to break up. We don't want to do that yet. So uh, if you just want to go around, who you you guys have a big influences? Who are your biggest top influences from this from going? Music wise, like yeah. album wise, or like just uh, us personally? Just um, Deftones. I, Deftones. That's all I listen to most of the time. Every time I die, it's cool too. Me without you. Dead oh, yeah, Dead and Divine. Oh, yeah, Dead and Divine. Under Oath. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, come on. How'd I watch it? Amberlynn is a huge influence for me. Amberlynn's good. Yeah. 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 Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, musically, we have uh, Under Oath, of course. It's like big. Uh, lyrically, on my part, it would be like uh, like Bayside, Death Cab, brand new type of thing. And vocally, I'm re I really like uh, Fred. Uh, it was Maraschino or whatever from Taking Back Sunday. He's like a really cool raspy. Um, well, he wasn't Taking Back Sunday. He has a really cool raspy voice, and the singer of Cartel is another big one. And Bayside Singer, he's awesome. Um, I think mine had to be like from the start, like Blink-182. And then also, as far as like this kind of genre, I'd go with uh, Lower Definition, definitely had a big influence on me. Nice. Lower D, man, Lower D. No. <laughs> so anything weird happened on your guys' first show? Any bad experiences just on it? First show in ever. ever. Oh, I'm first show ever. I mean, 
There was six people at the first show we've ever played, and five of them were in the band that played before us. <laughs> and I think the other guy was the sound guy's daughter that was like, she was grounded and she had to go to the show or something like that. <laughs> she, so her punishment was to see you guys. Yeah, I'm go to a show with <laughs> five people, yeah. <laughs> it was just the first show. It was the first show. I mean, what are you gonna, yeah, what are you going to do? Just, you're just starting out. It's so. pretty much a practice show, you know. Yeah, yeah, we're still we're still like not completely perfected. We're we're getting there. I mean, this is, we're still early in our years, so he's perfect. He's Mike's perfect. perfect, but it's only gonna get better. Is your dream your dream show like where would it be and uh, what would happen during like just have like live tigers going on during your show or like definitely what is? I definitely would want dead tigers. So live tigers would be pretty bears. sick. Bears. 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 That sounds dangerous. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Um, that would be so cool. Just like you guys are just playing. Oh yeah, like a circus. Oh, like um, no. They remember did that too, didn't they? Yeah. I'm gonna get serious for a minute because all these jokers. Uh, we're I'm already playing like our dream shows, sold out shows like this where it's like smaller is awesome, where we can jump in the crowd and stuff. But after it gets to a certain point, it's like. It's just ridiculous. You don't have as much like crowd interact. Like you can't kill up like so close to the people and say, "Well, if you play guitar, this guy." It's not as personal. Right? It's not as personal. So I'm playing like our drink shows right now. We don't need. I don't like a whole bunch of lights and stuff. We're not Lady Gaga. So, so no tigers then. Mm-hmm. Maybe tigers. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have any nicknames for each other? Any brutal bad nicknames for each other? Can I? Yeah. No, I'm not gonna say it. I, I'm just not gonna go there. I'm not going to be the guy to say it, though. This and already knows yeah. who he really Jake, is. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> oh, man. If you shaved your head, possibly, but... You should I, shave your head. Yeah. My manager would kill us. You should do the razor cut. Do you know everybody's doing it now? Do we have anything? Um, who's, who's the one that gets picked on the most in this band? And let's put it that way. Everyone gets picked on for the Yeah, we all yeah, we all yeah. Yeah. each other. Yeah. And more so... That's not a bad thing. Asian being super smart, doing math in your head, you know. I don't really take that as an insult. So. Ling Ling, he's a Pokemon trainer. Yeah. Uh, he's a fairy. They always call me fairy. I need a shower every day, but. Yeah. I wonder why it smelled in here. <laughs> Good. I love taking showers. Um, Joe's a robot. Joe's a robot. Yeah, Joe's a robot. Mark, Mark's just mad so much on tour. <laughs> He's only angry all the time. Yeah. You look, you're angry. Are you angry right now? No, I'm just happy. Oh, okay, cool. I made you. Yeah, I, I, you. You put me in a van for an extended period of time, I get mad. Yeah. With five guys, that doesn't yeah, yeah, sound yeah. like the best time. You said that day two. It's about day 15 right now, so it's just growing. We have 12 more weeks to go, so. <laughs> We just went to New York for the first time, and it was like oh cool God. for. Oh it was cool for five minutes, and then Mark was just like, "I fucking hate this place." <laughs> it was. He knew all the streets though right away. Like, I don't know. That's it. it, was, that's it. I, I purposely slept so that Mark would have to do it too. <laughs> Thanks, dude. What's the weirdest? Where's the weirdest place you guys have taken a dump at? Question. Um. Um, there was no, uh, was it Peabody's? Oh, Peabody's, there was no door, so like, Joe, oh. being the little pooper he is, no, I'm just kidding, uh, <laughs> everybody poops, he, stop it, he went to, uh, I had to like guard the door, like there was no, I had to like sit there and like, pretty bad, during the show, so there's like tons of people yeah. coming in, and you're like, and then there was on the O Sleeper tour, there was no door, so I was pooping and like, Shameful. Waving like at shameful. people. It was like a 20-foot a hallway, and you could just see Richard's feet like hanging out like way back there. <laughs> I don't get all that ashamed of being naked and stuff. I'm the only one that gets naked in the van. Yeah, yeah. You're fine with, you're just fine with nudity in general. Yeah. Just being public nudity is all we good with you. <laughs> so I would say like the worst part of being in a band is having to see Richard naked all the time. Is that... That's one of them. That's like top top yeah. seven. Yeah. Top seven. Yeah. What would be number one? Just being just worst thing. I love everything about it. I actually love everything about being uh, in a band. Not, just not having like um oh a home or something. Like, oh, like a shower. Oh, shower. Yeah, that's what that goes along with home. Like it's nice to be able to like 
done with this right now. I'm gonna go home and just relax for a little bit. You're constantly like away, so showers and all that stuff. Home you don't meals. Mm. Oh, I love those. We we started this tour. We've been doing pretty well. We've had some home cooked meals and and stuff. So yeah. Uh, just the privacy, the lack of privacy. If Xander was starting a TV show, what would it what would it be about? Like, what would what it, what would it, what would it be called? What would it? <laughs> it would be uh, what is that eight, the the ninja one? The Asian where they freaking go and they always fall and eat it like. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. He was gonna say MXE, but I would actually be the star or host of Ninja Warrior, <laughs> which is pretty much parkour in. Ninja form. <laughs> Ninja form. Yeah. Nice. All right, this one's kind of weird, but I like it. Um, well, if you could breed any two, if you could breed any two animals together, what would you breed? Turkey and a pug. <laughs> That's pug. crazy. I was gonna say pug and. How do you know that? Like, do you just how do you just first two came to your mind? First two animals I could think of. No, you thought it before. How, why would you, you think about you that? You read the paper, dog. <laughs> Look. It's like I'm gonna I think about this. Prairie dog and a hedgehog. <laughs> That's an awesome. Think dish. about that. Imagine Richard with cute little like spines, spikes. like spoke <laughs> spikes or whatever they're called. Yeah. yeah. Porcupine. <laughs> what about you, Richard? What would you do? I mean, what would you pick? Uh, crap. I don't know. A That's such a, a parakeet and a pug would be a giraffe and oh, oh, oh. I think a parakeet and a pug would be pretty <laughs> awesome. Actually. That would be yeah, I'm gonna go. Props to you, Joe. Answer, you guys I would go with uh, I'd go with a dinosaur with a chameleon, so you can make Yoshi. <laughs> Real life Yoshi, nice. All right, favorite food, teat on the road. I love Subway. Yeah, Subway, Subway. Subway. Yep. Subway's been the I, I meal like, choice. I like Jimmy John's a lot. Joe oh, hates it. Jimmy John's is where it's at, yeah, really. I love Jimmy John's. Yeah, I just never had it. <laughs> <laughs> Joe just is cheap, and he doesn't see the point in getting it. It is. Oh, you're paying for speed right there. That's what she said. No, you're paying for their delicious tuna. I don't even get tuna, so why would Dude. I? Dude. Provolone cheese. Provolone. Come on, dude. They got the best bread. Pepperonis, provolone. Broccoli. <laughs> What's your guilty pleasure album? If you're, someone's going through your iPod, you don't want anyone to see this, but you really dig it. Uh, Bass Hunter. I don't know. Yeah. You're not ashamed of anything on your iPod? I don't have much on my iPod. I don't even have an iPod. Michael Jackson. I got my iPod from my girlfriend's uh, sister. I, f I hate Michael Jackson. He's f terrible. I'm sorry. He sucks so badly. It's so annoying. It's not too soon. Everybody says the man who warms up to Man in the Mirror every day. That's the only song. I like that one on the Rock That Beat. The but what is it? Rock the Buggy or something? I don't know what that's what it's called. Or I Want to Rock With You. That song is cool. And Human Nature. Human Nature. Only three songs. Screw yeah, every yeah, other song. Yeah, so yeah, she got like obsessed with Michael Jackson and there was seriously like every album. Like like five gigs of Michael Jackson. Like ten gigs of Michael Jackson. It was <laughs> plus plus the live stuff. You could have everything. Yeah, it was all the live stuff too, and he's like <laughs> Get out of here. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, if Richard and Joe got in a fight, who would win? Mm. Joe. Probably Joe. I'd say Joe. Yes, Joe. I'd have a... I'm a gentle person. Oh, well, I think it would be... Exciting, Richard would probably be drunk. He might get superpowers from that. Uh, that's true. <laughs> so drunk, you got powers. I think it would be a good fight. Let's go. Let's go right now. We got, we got two cameras. <laughs> What's your biggest, you guys have biggest pet peeve? Slamming doors. <laughs> Mark's, Mark's driving, I don't know. It's probably not that bad. But for some reason, whenever he like, when it, yeah, whenever he hits the gas, it's like, <laughs> or like he hits the brake. <laughs> roll off the bench. 
yeah. Richard always rolls off the bench. <laughs> and it's really annoying. Yeah, that. Um, I'm not, not as. Really, no, it's not it's that not bad. Really. Um, bumps on the freaking road. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. nobody's bad fault. Roads in America is but my pet peeve. Yeah. You're sitting there and you're just like. Doof, 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 doof. <laughs> oh. Four hours. Four hours. Four hours of just hitting your head against the window. You start to fall asleep and it's like. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the worst. The worst job you've ever had. Well, you said you worked at Pizza Hut since so bad. a couple I mean, weeks. It did suck, but I, um, I, I just drove around and listened to music and it helped me get a lot better at singing because I did it for two years before. Two years. And when did you help? A few weeks ago. <laughs> I quit a few weeks ago because I finally got uh, to tour a real, my dream job. I finally got my dream job. Before that, that job's not that bad, though. It's just kind of trashy. So, I'm sorry. You're not trashy if you work at Pizza Hut, but <laughs> I didn't, I I didn't feel cool. Too, actually, so. Yeah, well, he did work I at Pizza Hut. Yeah. Both vocalists were delivery drivers. <laughs> my worst job, though was uh, at a, a food stand at a racetrack. Like, so redneck. Like, Dude, a legit... The stupidest job. Oh, and every job I've had is, like, super redneck. Uh, I worked at a grocery store in Tennessee for four months. That sucked. <laughs> yeah. Wait, which grocery store? Like, Piggly Alice Wiggly? Foodland. Alice Foodland. And, um, like, Toy Story? <laughs> is that real in Toy Story? No, but, like, Al's... What, what is it called in Toy Story? Oh, Al's... Oh. Al's Toy Barn. Yeah. That's what came to mind. It was Al's Food Land in Lebanon, Tennessee. <laughs> Look it up. And like the, oh, dude, they were all just so freaking like, hey, you know, you need to piss off. I really <laughs> <laughs> Is it hard for you to talk about? It's very hard. Yeah, it sucks. Oh, I had a really bad job. I've had nine jobs. I've never held one down for more than two months. But... I was a food sample person at Costco, and then I got fired four weeks later. But that was really horrible. Just, just giving out food, free samples, and if you don't get me, if you don't meet your quota, you get yelled at, dude. It sucked. Quota at Costco. You think handing out food? I eat the shit out of food at Costco. Like. The quota isn't to give away food. The quota is to sell the product you're giving away. <laughs> and I would just give it away and eat it myself. So why would I sell it? Yeah, that's Dude, we used to go to, um, what store did we go to when we were recording? Sam's Club. Sam's Club and get samples and eat like, it's like $1.50 for like a freaking huge hot dog and like a drink. It's so good. I love it there. <laughs> that's enough of that. But you were a sign flipper too, right? God, dude. You were a guy. That was my ninth job. Yeah, I was uh, so a. It was right. one day. It was one day before I technically got fired because I wasn't flexible enough. I held signs on the corner, and I got like bruises everywhere because I would throw the sign in the air and the wind would catch and hit me in the face, and <laughs> it sucked. And that was like six months ago. And then six months ago, before you went on tour, yeah. you just went to this. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. ask these two. You used to work at Blockbuster. I worked at Blockbuster. But it didn't suck. I watched movies all day. You just got free movies a lot? Did yeah, you do? I got free movies. Watched free movies. Funny, yeah. so, funny yeah. story about like... It sucked. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about? Worst, he, worst job. He worked at Boomers. Yeah, do you know what Boomers is? That's, that's like, 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 like what, it's like a Dave and Buster's type thing? Yeah. Much worse. For, yeah, like you go and you do bumper carts and <laughs> games and so he knows. No, no, no bumping, no bumping. It's go karts, no bumping, no swerving. Come on, get the rules right. <laughs> I worked there for a little bit, but um, well, actually a long, a long time. I've done a bunch of different things. The worst was just being a general ride operator. Yeah. Like Ferris wheel and the teacups and stuff. I never thought, I never thought I, I would hate kids so much, but then I realized that it's not the kids I hated; it was the parents. <laughs> because there's a reason the kids were like that. Yes, parents. <laughs> I right, so we're basically done here. Oh, was that the last question? Well, I, well, well, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so we're just we just got finished up with here with secrets. Uh, what do you guys have planned up for this the the next year here? We have a lot. We have um after the Sleeping with Sirens tour, we have a Attack Attack Escape the Fate co-headline tour. 
um, April, May that goes to Canada, and then we have another huge tour in the summer that we're going to announce probably in the next couple weeks. Anything else, guys? Lots of touring. Lots of touring. <laughs> There's lots of touring. It's going to be awesome. I'm yeah. so excited. I'm excited to see you guys tonight, and I'm excited to see you guys in the future. And uh, that's it. <laughs>